my parents house this is where i grew up in amish country pennsylvania but so today we are going to spend a couple days learning all about the Amish. Yeah, we're going to an Amish homestay that was very difficult to find actually. We're gonna stay there for two nights and yeah, we're gonna try to learn as much as we can of the Amish people. Yeah, so right now we're gonna leave and drive about 45 minutes away. There's like a museum about the Amish. So we're gonna try and stop by the museum, then we'll check in for our homestay. Hopefully they talk to us and we we'll learn a lot of uh -huh. Yeah, we'll have to see how authentic it is because yeah. usually the Amish are really like separate but I don't know, it says the people that have this homestay are Amish. So we will see how much we can video, how much is real and all of that. Yeah, we're gonna tell you everything. Yeah, let's, let's go! go. The Amish village. Yes, this is stop number one. We're at this place called the Amish village, which is supposed to be kind of like a museum Amish house tour. There's bus rides you can do all around here, like Amish country, but we have the car, so we're not gonna do the bus ride. But yeah, hopefully in here we can learn a lot about the Amish before we go stay with them. Yeah, I see a buggy there. Yeah. Let's go. It's interesting little museum. Yeah. <laughs> There were two options here. There's a house tour and, a and then self-guided farm tour for $13. And then it's more if you do a an hour and a half like bus tour thing. Now we're in the Amish farmhouse tour. So no videos here. And then I guess we can walk around everything else, the farm tour. But we just did the house tour and now we're walking around the farms. It was a lot of information. Yeah. I don't know if we told it, but that is a real Amish house. Mm -hmm. And now it's turned to a museum. Yeah. And yeah, she was explaining everything, how, how they live, how they... De how they de dress, what yeah. all the clothes, like specific clothes for specific situations. Yeah. How they live without electricity, why they live like this. And that they come from Switzerland, that I didn't mm -hmm. know. They moved from yeah. Switzerland, the north of Switzerland and Germany to here, to Pennsylvania, and they, they like it here, so they started living here. Yeah, and here in Lancaster County is the biggest county for Amish in all of America, right? Yeah. All of the world, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> there is a buggy there, I want to see a buggy. Yeah, we're going to walk and see everything now. So on the farm now, there's so many little areas you can go look at, and it's a self-guided tour. So now we don't have a tour guide, but it says a lot of things. So what is this about? This is the milk house. Here's the barn. It smells like a barn. Yeah. Very much. I mean, Aww. Barn. Oh, there's a lot. There's donkeys. Oh, look at these little ponies. Yeah. Carlos has a new friend. Hi. Hi. A little Amish pony. You're so cute. Hello, Hello little pony. Mm -hmm. Where's your friend? He's staring at the wall. <laughs> Hello. <Yes. laughs> are all the local Amish towns. Bird in hand, Intercourse. Yes, Intercourse is the name of an Amish town. <laughs> Strasbourg, Paradise, Amish wares with a covered bridge. There's a water wheel. I mean, There's so, I think that's a schoolhouse back there next to the buggy. Yeah, I mean, if you want to learn more about Amish, it's nice this place. Yeah. These buggies and uh, just the house and to see everything. If you are not lucky like us to go to the homestay you can just come here you can go inside right yeah, yeah. it has steps the amish village lancaster pa <laughs> hello hello that's cute i need a picture yeah. of you schoolhouse yeah an, an amish, amish one room schoolhouse enter to learn which carlos has already seen not inside, but the outside of a one-room schoolhouse because the, there's an Amish schoolhouse right next to where I live. Yeah. Like five minutes. So we drive past all the time. Is this? Oh, there's no class going on. <laughs> Look, and here's all the horse-drawn plows. So the Amish can't use tractors, like yeah. powered tractors. So everything's horse-drawn or the little mowers. You've seen them out mowing the grass already, but I don't see a little mower here. Are you having fun? Yeah. 
I think it's really worth it if you want to learn more about them. Yeah, I mean, we only paid $13 each, and yeah, yeah it's nice. Here's a little store. I wonder if there's actually things inside it. Oh, the marketplace. She said, come here and you can buy all the canned stuff that you want. Oh, really? There's all candy. So many canned products. Ooh. What do we have here, Carlos? Whoopie pies. Whoopie pies. Who brought you whoopie pies the other day? Mennonites. Yeah, my Mennonite neighbors. They baked some whoopie pies and they brought them up to the house yeah. and Carlos was shocked to see a bunch of Mennonites in the house. Seriously. We didn't buy dessert because we're having dinner tonight with the Amish couple at our Amish homestay. So I'm thinking they must have some type of dessert, whether it's like whoopie pie or shoe fly pie. Hopefully. store. So the other one is food store. This is, hey, there's a big quilt there. You wanna buy an Amish quilt? These excel, that's the week. <laughs> Large. Nice. Yeah. Now it's time to check in. Yeah, we have to go to our homestay home now. Oh, here. Why is the bridge covered? Red wood rots quickly when exposed to weather. So this will last 100 years or more, as opposed to one that's not covered is only 15 to 20 years. Have nice. you seen a covered bridge before? Uh, no, not like, like this. this. No. Not the wooden one, no? Huh. Yeah, they have them here. Not super frequent, but I've seen them, yeah. Like All right, I but really, yeah. I really like it, this museum. Okay, Carlos yeah, approves. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, now we need to drive. It's only, what, like 15, 20 minutes from here, and we'll be at the homestay. Yeah, now the real Amish experience. Yeah, the real so Amish it. experience. We'll see how that goes. Yeah. Stay for two nights. We have arrived. Oh, here he's coming out for us. Oi, oi, oi. This is him inside. We've been here like an hour talking to Ben and his wife's over here making dinner. We're gonna have dinner in a minute, but it's so cool. Um, yeah, no, he's telling us so much. We have so many questions and he's so nice. And we need to show the lights later up in our room. There's like battery powered lights and stuff, which yeah. is so cool. I didn't know they had that. We're gonna have yeah. dinner soon. So I don't know what we're eating, but she's cooking dinner and it, it smells, smells so good. Here's the living room. And over here, the kitchen. Fire. We'll run out and get our stuff. Are you ready? You got our... Yeah, our new suitcases. How is your new bag? Bears here. This here is our room. Yeah. yeah, it is really nice. Yeah, and this is so cool. So this light here, how do I turn it on? It's on the switch. Oh, here. Yeah. It looks like a normal light, but it's battery powered. With battery, yeah, with the lights and battery. Yeah, yeah. So cool. You, and you can see here. This is also so cool. It's like a, a car. You see? You plug yeah. it in. Yeah. Like, like I don't know where the battery is, but all these cords back here. here all these you can see all the plugs and everything to make it work yeah and here you can just plug here and then the fan is gonna work but yeah we have light in an amish house yeah <laughs> i was surprised by that yeah. so even talking to ben in our first hour here was so interesting so yeah basically like that like they can't use electric but they have battery power for so many things battery and propane yeah and, and a little solar panel also in the, mm -hmm. in the wall yeah so in the kitchen for all the appliances and stuff he said they run off propane so they have a refrigerator they have other appliances that are yeah either propane based or with solar 
or a battery. Yeah, and, and to, to cook they use a stove, but they have gas also, so mm -hmm. yeah. There's even a phone line, but the phone is outside because they don't want it to like interrupt them. So yeah, there's a phone somewhere, a little phone booth that is theirs outside. Yeah, and also one thing that he told us that is really surprising is they travel a lot. They, they can't take trains and he was telling us that they travel all over America with train that yeah. they didn't know that uh, like they just travel. Yeah. So he said the main two things are like no electric and they don't have driver's licenses, so they can't drive. But his son owns a landscaping company. So he owns trucks, he owns all the equipment they use, but he has someone else who's not Amish work for him and that person drives his truck. So even though he owns it, he can't drive it, but he'll be next to the guy driving it who's not Amish. So yeah, so it's many so cool things that like I had no idea. But it's really nice because it's not a fake house that we were mm -hmm. uh, afraid that would be like a fake homestay or something, but no, it's totally real. Yeah, it's, so nice. it's really cool, yeah. yeah. So we have to go down now because we're going to have dinner, but I want to show the bathroom because yeah. the bathroom light is so cool. Uh, so, so he said that we are allowed to take videos and everything, but not to take videos of them, like in the face. He said they won't pose for pictures, yeah. but we can take pictures of them like from behind like if we don't tell them um like they're not gonna pose for a picture like smile yeah. but we can take pictures of them working or whatever he said it's fine so yeah mm. it's, it's yeah it's a really cool experience so far yeah. and uh, we've only been here less than two hours bathroom normal toilet normal shower and here so this light is run on a battery this is what they used to use for light here with like actual gas and fire but he said it's not like the new ones with batteries are so much more safe because you're not going to burn the house down <laughs> okay yeah so we have these new suitcases yeah, new, look at these so quiet and they spin amazing so yeah these are the suitcases we've been using for our travels here in america they are so nice by level eight and yeah, they're quiet, 360 wheels, and they're aluminum. So they're both like really hard, they keep all your stuff safe, and they look so fancy. TSA locks, so they're TSA approved, so you can lock it while you're flying and you're good to go. Carlos locked his, I don't Always know. <laughs> but yeah, they're so nice. And inside, these little tabs keep all your yeah, stuff safe. Yeah, it's so nice. And then it comes with packing cubes. In the packing cubes, you can change these to know what's inside. So they're so convenient. But yeah, these suitcases are great. We have a discount code we'll put in the description. But yeah, level eight. Nice. Okay, time to eat, eat with the uh, really Yeah. Good. They are known for um, to be a very good uh, with the food, good right? Food, yeah. yeah. Yeah, good food. He said all the veggies and stuff are from here, fruit. So it'll be interesting what we try. There we some neat, is that I guess coleslaw, beets, lima beans, mashed potatoes, corn, creamed corn. Are you excited? Yeah, I never try any of these, just mashed potatoes. No? <laughs> no. <laughs> Two Pennsylvania Dutch for you. Mm -hmm. I think you're gonna like meat, it. Though. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Corn and the mashed potatoes smells so good. So good. Yeah. And look at the light hanging here with the battery. There's the battery, that's so cool. <laughs> We are in our room. It's what, 7.30? Yeah, it's on the yeah. thing. It's so dark outside already. Yeah. Well, uh, downstairs. It's so dark. We have this. Mm -hmm. We have our light here. Our light here. But yeah. We had dinner with the Amish couple. So that was really fun. And it was a bunch of like, yeah, home cooked food, mashed potatoes, corn, lima beans, beets, some sausage. Um, yeah, it was good though. Yeah, they are really nice. So we, mm -hmm. we can ask all the questions that we wanted and. Yeah, they, they talk about everything. They were curious about the Spain, yeah. what we eat, and yeah. Like, yeah, it was, it was nice having dinner with them, yeah, because we could just chat about whatever. And I'm asking a lot of questions, and yeah. they answer everything, yeah. yeah. Um, and then after, there's another couple here. So we went out together to the barn. He showed us his horse, and then we all played shuffleboard. Yeah. Which, that was really fun, was too. Really fun, yeah. I was not good at it, but... <laughs> But it was we fun. Lost. We yeah. did lose, yeah. Because <laughs> light. Uh, I'm blinking light. I need to slow moving. Shuffleboard. Is it a shuffleboard? Yeah, a huge shuffleboard. Yeah. Shuffleboard. Yeah. Yeah. Shuffleboard. Yeah. Shuffleboard. Yeah. Yeah. Shuffleboard. 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 Yeah. Shuff
to get up fully. That's when we have 10, 40, and 8, and 7. Mm -hmm. Don't get it up here, because that's minus 10. Oh, minus 10. That's oh, minus 10. <laughs> if we touch it, the line, it is no coin. It covers me completely, <laughs> not touching the line. Oh, right. okay. Cover just the fear of the boy. Yeah, because I have no idea. Yeah. It's your first time? It's going to be embarrassing. Anyway. <laughs> you can get a photo and put it in and then do it. Two hands? One hand? Doesn't matter? Oh. 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 <laughs> Eight, nice. I think we're gonna go to sleep early, and then tomorrow we're gonna do the buggy ride with them. Yeah. But we have breakfast and first at eight a.m., so we have to be downstairs for breakfast at eight. Yeah, and also we are going to the um, Amish market, no? The Green Dragon. Yeah, one. yeah, we're gonna drive around and go to some places here on our own, and then we have to be back for the buggy ride. You have to yeah, be morning. Good morning. It is almost eight o'clock, yeah. which is breakfast time, but our room is very bright right now. <laughs> um, yeah, how to sleep. Good, I mean, everyone will say it's very late for them because they wake up at five. Yeah. We need to run downstairs and see what's for breakfast. Yeah, I want to see what's for breakfast. Oh. We've had some pancakes, we've had muffins. Yeah. Uh, all grape. homemade. Yeah, all homemade. Plums, peaches, peaches grape juice. Coffee. Yeah. It was yeah. a good breakfast. Yeah, so good. Um, and we learned so much more stuff. So like we ate breakfast with the people who live here and we were all just chatting the whole time. Yeah. So but I didn't know that there's old order Mennonites and old order Amish that are really similar. Like the Mennonites also use buggies. So I guess the main difference is Amish guys, once they're married, they can't shave their beard. They don't have a mustache. They shave here, but they have beards. And Mennonites never have beards. They're always shaven. Yeah. And Mennonites can use also bicycles and mm -hmm. cars, the new orders, no? Yeah, some Mennonites, like some my Mennonite. neighbors, yeah. Yeah, so they are more advanced in technology or they ac accept more of the technology, no? The Amish can't even ride bicycles. They can only ride scooters because they don't, on a bicycle you can go far and they don't want them to be able to do that. They have to learn to use the horse and buggy, but they can use scooters and they were telling us here that in the recent years, a lot of the Amish have started to motorize their scooters, like put a battery pack on it, yeah. which they said the church probably didn't like, but now so many people have it, they don't think they'll make a rule against it. But the church says like what's allowed and what's not allowed. And as technology advances, like in our world, like the non-Amish world, the Amish are constantly making like new rules as well about like what's allowed and what's not allowed to kind of keep yeah. up with changing technology. No, like even here where we, we are staying, they have a, <laughs> a website. So mm -hmm. we could book here online. And yeah, they, they say that uh, they ask the, the church leaders and they say, yeah, you can have a website and you can have uh, English people coming to your home if mm -hmm. it's good for your business. That's Which I don't think we mentioned to Amish. Anyone yeah. who's not Amish is called English. <laughs> So we're English, like um, we're American. I'm American, he's Spanish, we're both I'm, English no, here. I'm English now. Yeah. I'm not a Spanish. Yeah. Anymore. So yeah, uh, anyway, today we're gonna go to the pretzel shop. Yeah, the pretzel factory, factory that, and the local market. Yeah, and then we're gonna have the buggy ride. That I'm yeah. so excited. There's an Amish squirrel. Hello. Hello. We are at the pretzel store. Yes, we are open. Um, run by Mennonites, I think. Oh, the pretzels. We can go on a tour. The pretzel factory, yeah. Crazy. 
so many pretzels. It's better. How many of these can they make a day? Um, so do like seven eight batches and three batches and batches. Twenty one to twenty three batches. Twenty two thousand a day. Yeah. A yeah. Wow. <laughs> oh my god. So many. <laughs> these are all from today. Yeah. yeah. That was so cool. We went in. We have all our pretzels now. <laughs> we went in and the girl said, like, was telling us about them and asked if we wanted to do a little tour. And she took us inside and showed us all of them. It's so crazy. Yeah, I'm She's... surprised how many people are working there. <laughs> yeah. She said they can make 22,000 pretzels in a day. And some of the people in there can roll 20 of them in a minute. <laughs> but anyway, my dad's eaten Martin pretzels my whole life. <laughs> They're a thing from here in Amish country. And yeah. yeah, it was cool that. to see inside the factory. Really nice. Yeah. So now we are loaded up on pretzels. <laughs> We're going to go to the market. <laughs> we made it to the Green Dragon. Yeah. We're Green trying Dragon to find parking. Lot. <laughs> yeah. Is it busier than you thought it would be? It's so busy. It is very, very busy. Yeah. So this market is only on Fridays, I think all day Friday, right here in the middle of Amish country. <laughs> That's weird, there's Chinese stores also. <laughs> yeah, there are. So there's yeah Chinese stores across the road from Amish stores, across the road from everything. Look, there's everything here. Oh, the ones with icing. All of them. There's the whoopie pies. Those are the ones you have to try. You know what? This looks so good. Cinnamon rolls covered in icing. That looks so good. But these ones here are the whoopie pies. These are real whoopie pies. Look at all of them. So many whoopie pies. Yeah. You need a whoopie pie. This here. Shoe fly pie. That's the one you have to try. It's like from here. Look in the picture. Yeah, you can see. Wet bottom. It's super Pennsylvania Dutch. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Hopefully, but if not, this is the place to get it. This is the place to get it. Yep. Very refreshing. They were the Mennonites? Yeah. Try. That's yeah, good. It's sweet. Mm -hmm. Mm. Carlos decided to try yeah. a whoopie pie. I mean, we're gonna take it home and we're gonna try it there. Yeah. Okay. Real Amish made. Are you excited? Sure. Yeah? Yeah. Me too. I haven't had a whoopie pie in years. Yeah. Let's go. Peanut butter. Peanut butter balls. Peanut butter balls. We were gonna just get the whoopie pie, but then we saw they also had peanut butter balls. And we had to get peanut butter balls because Carlos has never tried them. No, that sounds good. They're I don't so know what good. the whoopie pie, I don't know what's yeah. inside of the peanut butter. <laughs> peanut so butter balls. Yeah. yeah. Both made by Amish, so they should both be really good. Yeah. We'll have to try them when we get home. We haven't been in this building. You want to go? Yeah. In here? I don't think. Oh, cinnamon rolls. Yeah. That looks so good. These. Looks so good. Yeah. Are we going to get that too? This one looks so good also. Yeah? Should we get two? No, we have enough. <laughs> as soon as we got in, we saw the lady making cinnamon rolls. So we had to get a cinnamon roll too. Yeah, they look so good. Now we have three desserts. What do we have? A whoopie pie, peanut butter balls, and a cinnamon roll. <laughs> yeah, we have three desserts and we don't have lunch. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy, yeah. They're all just so good though, and I want Carlos to try everything. So we're just keep buying dessert. <laughs> the pretzels that we bought earlier. Yeah, a lot of them. <laughs> you just went to their factory. Yeah, How do you feel? <laughs> I think we're leaving Green Dragon now. Yeah, that was nice though. Yeah, yeah. a lot of Mennonite, Amish, uh, other people. <laughs> Selling their home baked yeah. goods and stuff. Selling everything, clothes, uh -huh. food. Yeah. Everything that you want. Yeah, so we have a lot of dessert now that we can try later. I think we're gonna try and 
take it back to the B&B and we can split it with the other people there. Yeah. <laughs> we are back and now we are about to go out on our buggy ride. Yeah, finally. Yeah, he's waiting for us now to harness up the horse to the buggy so we can watch that and then go out for a little yeah. on the roads. Not with this one. <laughs> what one? With your car. Oh, no. No. Not today. Ooh. You ready? <laughs> Happening? Yeah. <laughs> oh. Let's go for a ride. Start. We can pet her? Yeah. yeah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I don't remember the horse was being so big. It's almost ready. Oh, Carlos. Oi, it moves. <laughs> Don't break it. Okay. Let's spread a little sideways. Ah. Right? Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. And then other side. Oh, you tell So you said the buggies can only go 10 miles an hour? Is like the fastest like they can go? Like the yeah. Our horse can go 16, 18 miles an hour with the average. It's about 10. Yeah. Okay. 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 Yeah. Yeah, and it can also be pretty romantic, taking your boyfriend home yeah. on a Sunday night, nice and warm. Riding now? Yeah. yeah. That was so fun. That was so fun, yeah. It really was, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it totally worked. Huh. And it was crazy too because we were asking him so many questions. Um, like he said, all the buggies are kind of similar in size, but his wife's family has 10 people and they used to fit them all inside the one buggy. Yeah. Also, the age that you can drive. So they don't have licenses, there's no age because the max speed is like 10 miles an hour. But he said he's seen kids as young as like 10 years old in charge driving yeah. with a smaller pony, not a huge horse. But that's so crazy, like 10 yeah. year olds driving that. Yeah. And they have two buggies. We went, the, the one that we took, it was the Sunday buggy. So they have one buggy for the week and another one for the yeah. weekend. So we that's took the, so fun. the fancy one. Yeah. <laughs> So we just had a second little, not really breakfast, but coffee and we all shared some snacks. We tried the cinnamon roll, peanut butter balls and whoopie pie from yesterday. Yeah, so good. <laughs> yeah, which was Amazing. your favorite. Yeah. Uh, peanut butter, but it feels a lot. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's kind of candy, yeah. but so good. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we all just sat there for like an hour uh, playing little like games, electric free yeah, games. games that they have here and talking, chatting, telling jokes. Yeah. It was really fun. It was really nice this two days here. We learned a lot. Mm -hmm. They answered any, any, any questions, questions that we have. Yeah. And yeah, they were so nice. It was definitely was really thing. enlightening. Like we learned so much here. And I think it's a great experience. Yeah. Because their way of life is so different. But 
Yeah, we learned so much here. It was really cool. Yeah, if you're interested to learn more about them and how they live, yeah, that's the perfect place to come. Definitely recommend, yeah. 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 <laughs> and yesterday the vlog was so fun. Oh, so, it was really yeah. fun, yeah. Bye bye, Amish house. Bye. Bye bye. Bye bye, shuffleboard. Yeah. Bye bye, horsey. Of course. <laughs> oh, I need directions. I don't know where I'm going. Yeah.